six, right, is you want to talk about, you know, I think this is what's so funny is you talk about, oh, we, we shouldn't blow up the critical race theory issue because it's just a few people. Well, there's a few hundred people at January 6th who do something horrible, and then all of a sudden that becomes, you know, basically applied to, to the Republican Party at sure. large. Sure. So I would say that in a classroom, a teacher – that might be teaching critical race theory is far different than somebody who goes into the Capitol who wants to kill right. Mike Pence. That's not what I, I, it's the scope, right? But we, but, can, we can both agree. But these are two completely different – first of all, critical race theory, to me, it's not a crime. There's not something on the book that said you're going to go to jail. January 6th, we're talking about officers that were beaten. It's the scope. Right. It's the, the scope that's concerning. You know, you've got the few hundred people at the Capitol building who 700 people have been arrested. 700 yes. people. Yes. You know, who did people the wrong died thing. that day. They, they were. Well, <laughs> I, I mean, let's not go too far down the rabbit hole. Right. The only person who died that day not was, true. Was, was shot. Not true. There was a woman that was trampled that day as well. That's not true. There was a woman that was trampled that day as well who died. Well, I mean, it's not funny, Victor. These people lost. I don't know why you're laughing. These people died. There's nothing funny well, about that. It's the futility that. of the argument that I'm trying to raise. It, it's, it's obviously just being glossed over. So let's go. Let's okay. Well, we finish your point. I just don't know why you bring up critical race theory and a teacher that may or may not be teaching something that you disagree with to an insurrection and people that are trying to overthrow our democracy. Like, I don't understand that analogy. Okay, well, the analogy is about how, you know, if can you can you generalize to a large group of people from a small group of people, right? Like, you're very upset because there may be a few teachers out there teaching critical race theories, but it's not a big, it's not a broad broad problem, right? And so what I don't think so, no. Okay, right, so you, you yeah. take that, sure, and then you go to January 6th, you've got a, a few people out of Donald Trump's 75 million supporters who do something very wrong, very mm -hmm. bad, right? Right, right. And... That has been generalized to that broader 75 million. I haven't done that. I think the overwhelming majority of Trump supporters are not violent. I don't agree with them. I've never made that claim. In fact, I'll even go a step further. Mark Levin, who I think is a despicable human being. He's done my show before. Despicable. I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. When he talks about Black Lives Matter, all he does, tens of millions of people, right, were protesting across the country. That's a fact. Of those people, there was a small percentage of people that did terrible things. They lit buildings on fire. They looted. Horrible. No reasonable person would agree with that. But he takes the entire scope of Black Lives Matter. They're all Marxists. They're all criminals. They're all terrible. But when talking about January 6th, he'll never say that about January 6th. And you know what? I agree with him. The overwhelming – there were 100,000 people there that day. The overwhelming majority of those people, even though I might disagree with their politics, they're not criminals. There were 700 people that did that. But when you ask Republicans about Black Lives Matter, they'll take the entire scope as a bunch of thugs. But when we talk about January 6th, I'm not going to say all, the, all those people were white supremacists. Some of them were. A small percentage of those people did something horrible. Why is it Republicans want to point the broad stroke that black